continue right through the afternoon. So this is about five o'clock. We're still dealing with it. And all of these do have that risk for severe weather, maybe even more so as we get later into uh, the afternoon or evening. This is 10 o'clock at night. You can see some bigger supercell kind of storms coming through. Again, this is a forecast model. It's not going to look exactly like this on the radar come tomorrow. But this tells us that we've got threats for rain and storms and severe weather all day long into the evening, even into the overnight. Kansas City, we also have a five on the Torcon, likely to see strong damaging winds and severe hail as well here in Kansas City. Let's start your clock here after lunchtime. We're actually fast forwarding to about three or four o'clock in the afternoon. A couple of thunderstorms coming through Kansas City in multiple rounds. Now this is nine o'clock, maybe even more likely that we could be getting into some severe weather. And we see that risk continuing as we go through the overnight hours. That was 2 a.m. and still dealing with thunderstorms with that severe potential. Potential. Let's go over to Des Moines here in Iowa. There's a three on the Torcon, but still likely southern plains all the way into the Midwest. So I want to focus in on what's happening up here to the Midwest using Chicago as an example. We do get into some thunderstorms by late in the day. We'll start the clock at about five o'clock in the morning, and there could be a few showers in the area, but really it's afternoon and evening that you start to see things change. This is 11 o'clock, and that's when more likely to see some thunderstorms move through the area. The overnight thunderstorms, 3 a.m., you can see the Chicagoland area area is just looking at a soaker of a time here with rain and possible storms. We do have some Torcons out there and again, Chicago. You're one of the spots here with a, a three on the Torcon. Let's or excuse me, a two in Chicago. Let's go to Oklahoma City where we have a five on the Torcon and we're likely to get storms, not just with that risk of tornadoes, but damaging winds and hail and also heavy rain, a big threat for us here. We've got multiple chances of storms coming in starting earlier in the day. This is one o'clock in the afternoon. Sometime after lunchtime, you'll start to see the skies here get dark and off and on showers and storms, some possibly severe dinner time, another round, and we'll actually extend.